welcome all of you for the course banking theory long practice we are going to see the types of deposit accounts second part the types of deposit accounts that are offered by the banks in different terms and uh, the principles and practices of banking that describes different types of banks deposit accounts that are allowed by the banks for the benefit of the customers a modern banker who operates different type of accounts to give the best advantage of convenience and profit to the customer a banker operates accounts to suit the requirements of every type of customer the bank accounts that are opened and operated by a banking company for the mutual benefit of both the banker and the customer are known as bank accounts as you know pretty well the popular accounts operated by banks that include savings bank account current account fixed deposit account etc in the earlier session we have seen the nuances and fundamental ideas of opening of the fixed deposit accounts let's have today the different types of deposit account called savings accounts an account which is opened by a customer to make a deposit and withdrawal of small sums of money is known as a savings account it is a kind of demand deposit as the name indicates by demanding the customer can withdraw at any time without giving notice to the bank this account is offered with a minimum rate of interest to the customer this account allows the customer to make out the deposit at any time and the withdrawal at any time of their convenience there are different features for this savings account what are the features of savings account let's see one by one this account can be opened by all that does mean this account can be opened for individuals non trading organizations permitted institutions etc there is a fixed minimum balance which is to be maintained is rupees 100 without a checkbook facility and rupees 500 with checkbook facility and today it has been for the savings account 500 rupees without check facility and 1000 rupees for the check facility the interest on the minimum balance is offered by the banks which is paid between the 10th and last day of the month but now the interest is calculated on the daily balance method the accounting may be operated either in single or in joint manner no restrictions for the number of deposits and the amount of deposits and uh, the savings bank account has different facilities of the passbook the nomination facility the standing instruction and other required facilities that are offered by different banks in which we need to see the basic savings bank account what is basic savings bank account the banks including regional rural banks and state and central cooperative banks have been advised by the rbi to make available a basic banking in the name of no frills accounts either with nil or very low minimum balance as well as charges that would make such accounts accessible to vast section of population the basic savings deposit account should be considered as a normal account as part of the efforts of the rbi to bring about a financial inclusion the banks are advised to offer a basic savings bank deposit account which will offer following minimum common facilities to all their customers this account should be considered as a normal account and shall not have the requirement of any minimum balance and the services available in the account will include deposit and withdrawal of cash in bank branch as well as atms receipts credit of money through electronic payment channels or by means of deposits collection of checks drawn by central state government agencies and departments 
while there will be no limit on the number of deposits that can be made in a month, the account holders will be allowed a maximum of four withdrawals in a month, including ATM withdrawals. And facility of ATM card or ATM come debit card is also offered. The above facilities will be provided without any charges and further no charge will be levied for non-operation activation of inoperative basic savings deposit account. Banks would be free to evolve other requirements including the pricing structure for additional value added services beyond the stipulated basic minimum services on reasonable and transparent basis and applied in a non-discriminatory non manner. The basic savings bank deposit account would be subject to RBI instructions on know your customer EYC and anti-money laundering AML for opening of bank accounts issued from time to time. If such account is opened on the basis of simplified KYC norms, the account would additionally be treated as a small account and would be subject to conditions stipulated for such accounts. Holders of basic savings bank deposit account will not be eligible for opening any other savings bank deposit account in that bank. If a customer has any other existing savings bank deposit account in that bank, he or she will be required to close it within 30 days from the date of opening a basic savings bank deposit account. The existing basic bank and banking, no frills accounts should be converted to basic savings bank deposit account. These are all the facilities that are offered by the bank for the benefit of the customers under basic savings bank account. Let's see now. Another account, the current account. The current account is a special type of bank account which is opened by the traders, businessmen, corporate bodies and others who operate the account frequently is known as a current account. And following the savings bank account, the current account is offered to all the traders, businessmen, corporate bodies with all facilities that are subject to the conditions of the business and operational purpose by the bankers. And it is a special type of bank account which can be opened by the small traders, business people and other corporate bodies also who operate the account frequently. It is also a kind of demand deposit account. The businessman organization can open a current account with the bank for their convenience and for the purpose for which it is opened. See, there are different uh, features for this current account. Before going for the features, we need to know the current account balance. The current account holders should keep a minimum balance of rupees 1000 to keep the account running. In a mechanized branch, minimum balance ranges in between rupees 5000 and 25000 should be kept by the customer who operate the account. The features of the current account. First of all, we need to understand the minimum balance. Normally, the minimum balance is rupees 500 in rural and semi-urban areas and rupees 1000 in urban areas and metros. This account is not eligible for interest. There is no ceiling on the number of withdrawals and credits in current account. The passbook, pass sheet, standing instructions and check collection facilities are available in current account. What are the benefits of savings account and current account? We need to understand the savings and current accounts benefits. One is the card convenience. The first and the foremost advantage of operating a savings and current account is that the bank provides the benefit of free ATM card or debit card. The card provides a wide network for accessing the account anytime, anywhere. 
This enables the customer to withdraw the cash, inquire about the balance, etc. Further, it is also possible for the customer to avail of international debit card, which can be used domestically as well as internationally. The second benefit is the accounts can be easily accessed and widely accessed for money. Both the savings and current accounts provide the advantage of transacting at the customer's convenience. This is in turn saves time as well as the cost through a wide distribution network spread all over India. The facility is available through the ATMs and internet banking. Monitoring the account is another benefit. With the help of latest banking technique such as internet banking, it is possible for a customer to view the statement of banking transactions at any time, anywhere. This way, the accounts can be monitored and controlled by all the account holders. Once they monitor the account, they will come to know any kind of misappropriations or the fraudulent activities happened in the account. The next benefit is a sweep in account. Funds can be transferred from fixed deposits to your account whenever needed for meeting the immediate cash requirements. Easy transaction is another benefit. Both savings and current accounts offer the advantage of easy and convenient transaction as mentioned below. Unlimited credits allowed in all accounts, unlimited number of payments, facility of security of a check payment guarantee, if the balance in the account goes insufficient for the payment of a check through a pre-arranged limit, make payments by giving standing instructions, order a demand drafts to pay orders on a wide area of locations, transfer funds from any part of the country, upcountry check collection, free checkbook of the number of leaves, Every year, facility of a safe deposit locker for the safety of your important documents and valuables, efficient foreign exchange services are all such benefits for savings and current account holders and are easy transactional operations. The next benefit is money multiplier. The accounts would give the benefit of money multiplier. This is possible by linking the current account to the deposit account. And uh, this way, the customers can earn additional interest on the surplus money. If they have a surplus money, the current account and deposit account can be merged and uh, the interest will be calculated as a benefit, as a part of benefit will be offered to the customer. Further, this also gets rid of the problem of uh, bounced checks forever. In addition to the above, the savings and current accounts provide the customer the following further benefits. These are coming under other benefits of savings and current accounts. The free account transfer between our wide network of branches. Nomination facility, nomination facility available in all the branches for all the accounts, particularly the savings and current accounts. Facility to open your current account in single or joint names, very low minimum balance requirements and full security of your money at all times. These are all the benefits that are offered to the holders of current and savings accounts. With these benefits, the bankers are proposing to increase the number of accounts as well as the deposit mobilization so that the customers are offered with different kinds of benefits, different terms and conditions, and easy operation, easy opening as well as easy operation of accounts that are all provided by all the banks, including the modern private banks. Let's see. Further, the privileges enjoyed by the current account holders. 
as you know pretty well the current deposits are the deposits in which the customers generally the business customers deposit any amount and withdraw any amount by check at their convenience current account holders enjoy certain privileges many of these privileges are not available to saving account holders savings account holders such as the following that withdrawal of any account withdrawal of any account any amount at any time by issue of checks they can withdraw any amount at any time from any current account any time by issue of checks and uh, the collection of third party checks this is another facility that are offered to the current account holders specifically the availability of overdraft facilities they can avail the current account holders can avail the overdraft facilities at any time and availability of cash credit facilities the cash credit facilities are all offered to the current account holders for improving and improvising their business and the industries these are all the privileges that are enjoyed by current account holders than the savings bank account holders additionally so with this we would go for another deposit called recurring deposit account a type of bank account where the customer makes a deposit on a periodical interval up to a certain period of time is known as recurring deposit account the purpose of this type of account is to encourage thrift and savings habit and make it a rewarding recurring habit among the public the account is ideal for convenient savings and it enables to build up a sizable capital in a regular and systematic way let's see it is a type of bank account where the customer makes a deposit on a periodical interval up to a certain period of time the deposit made in as low an amount of rupees 50 and multiples of 50 there is no ceiling on the maximum amount the account offers an attractive rate of interest the rates being revised from time to time the interest is compounded every quarter the account commands easy liquidity and can be closed before maturity further it permits loan against deposits also the nomination facility is available in this account also the floating rate deposit account is another account which is a type of account operated by a banker where the rate of interest payable on the deposit made by a customer which is allowed to vary there are different features under the floating rate deposit account discussed what are they we need to deal different features of floating rate deposit account at this juncture one is the purpose what is purpose and what is the feature of this deposit account to provide a deposit scheme with a floating interest rate linked 91 days t bill rate and to provide the depositor an option to invest in floating rate deposit scheme to take advantage of interest rate fluctuation this is the purpose one among the future of floating rate deposit account understand the eligibility is another feature of floating rate deposit account offered to the public the individuals both single or joint account holders either are survivor or jointly can open this account high net worth customers both single or joint account either are survivor or jointly a guardian on behalf of minor of hindu undivided family the partnership firms company trust associations or any other institutions can open this floating rate deposit account these persons are eligible to have a floating rate deposit account with the bank amount the minimum rupees 10 lakhs and in multiples of rupee 1 lakh thereafter 
there is no maximum ceiling in floating rate deposit account. The nature of deposit is another feature of floating rate deposit account. The nature of a deposit is fixed deposit only but for no reinvestment. Such fixed deposit will be offered with the floating rate of interest. The period of deposit is another feature of floating rate deposit account. The minimum period is 6 months and maximum of 24 months are allowed under this floating rate deposit account. This deposits can be made on multiple of month. The rate of interest. Markup rate plus average monthly 91 days. Table rate as provided during the immediately preceding month. The same will be rest at monthly intervals in tune with the average monthly 91 days table rate of the immediately preceding month. Yet another feature of floating rate deposit account is the premature payment. Of course, the fixed deposit rate as on date of deposit or the average monthly anchor rate for the calendar month prior to premature closure. That is average monthly 9 days table rate prevailing during the calendar month preceding the date of premature closure. Whichever is lower will be paid for the period run. However, the deposits have to be run a minimum period of 15 days to earn any interest. Less than 15 days, any deposit cannot have, cannot claim for an amount of interest. The conversion facility is not allowed, is not permitted under the floating rate deposit account. However, the party can opt for closure before the maturity and reinvest as fresh deposit in any of the options that are available with that particular bank. So the straight conversion facility is not allowed, but it can be kept with an option of uh, transferring the amount to some other schemes that can be allowed by the bank. And a floating rate deposit account, the interest payment is made at quarterly intervals. The payment of interest is at quarterly intervals. Interest to be calculated and paid on the number of days of deposit would run till the maturity date. Till the maturity date, whatever the number of days will be calculated for the calculation of uh, the interest under floating rate deposit account. Other information or other features of floating rate deposit account, the miscellaneous features. Rate of interest would undergo change every month in tune with the variations in average monthly 91 days T bills rate as prevailing during the preceding month. No compounding of interest to be paid in the case of floating rate deposit account. Following the floating rate deposit account, we are going to see the fundamentals and the principles of resident foreign currency account. This may otherwise be known as resident foreign currency domestic account. Actually, this type of an account operated by a banker for a customer to deposit foreign currency in US dollars and euros or any other denomination of any countries abroad which will be taken into account and invested in the domestic country. It is a type of an account operated by a banker where it is possible for a customer to deposit the foreign currency in US dollar, GBP and euros. This account can be opened as a current account only. The account carries no interest and there is no minimum amount for opening the account. Foreign exchange acquired in the form of currency, notes, travelers, checks, coins, gifts or honorarium received outside India, gift received from relatives 
and earnings through the export of goods and services which can be credited to this account hence it is called the resident foreign currency domestic account in any of the foreign denomination the currency value will be deposited into the domestic country's account the next account is reinvestment deposit account what is reinvestment deposit account the reinvestment deposit account is a type of deposit account in which there is a facility of reinvestment of money immediately after the expiry of the fixed deposit apart from safety and liquidity it offers the highest growth option in the form of compounded interest it is a type of deposit account which take into account the growth option in the form of compounded interest for the purpose of safety and liquidity safety and liquidity of the customers will be the main and fulcrum idea of this kind of deposits offered by the bankers to the customers there are different features of reinvestment deposit account what are they one is about the minimum balance the first feature is about the minimum balance minimum account balance is to be kept as rupees 1000 by a customer the maximum ceiling for this account there is no maximum ceiling returns in this accounts the returns will be of different in nature comparatively to other accounts as regards the period of deposit it ranges from the minimum of 5 months to maximum of 120 months it offers high returns the closure before maturity is possible in the case of the reinvestment deposit account and usually the interest is compounded every quarter this account can easily be liquidated whenever the customer wants to have fund this account can be liquidated and funds can be had from this account funds can be taken back from this account it offers higher returns and uh, all the reinvestment deposits will be calculated with an amount of interest quarterly quarterly period interest the closure before the maturity will also be allowed with uh, different benefits the loans against deposit is permitted of course the customer may be need a fund uh, in near future after the reinvestment deposit started once he started an account after a year or after 6 months he may be in need of funds for which uh, he can have the loan he can apply for the loan against the reinvestment deposit the nomination facility is available with this account also as like which has been offered for other accounts the facility of part withdrawal of deposits in units of rupees 1000 keeping the rest of the deposit to your contracted rate of interest is the final feature of the reinvestment deposit next we see the flexi deposit account flexi deposit account a type of deposit account which is operated by a banker which combines the advantages of savings accounts and fixed deposit accounts flexi deposit account is the combination of having the feature of sb account savings bank account as well as the normal fixed deposit account and the amount offers high returns amount of account that offers high returns and instant liquidity this account enables the customer to earn maximum interest see this like uh, the deposit amount will grow on account of flexi deposit this is a type of deposit account operated by a banker which is the combination or which is having the combination of the merits advantages 
are favorable points of savings accounts and fixed deposit. Of course, you know, savings account can be opened by any individual or group of people and at a minimum uh, interest rate, not a maximum interest rate, but fixed deposit will be kept with the maximum interest rate, but cannot be taken back unless the maturity attains. That like we know the features and benefits, advantages of the savings and fixed deposit. Both of them are giving an account is called a flexi deposit account. This account enables the customer to earn maximum interest. Under this type of account, automatic transfer of funds is made beyond a certain amount. Say rupees 15,000 from the customer's savings bank account to an automatically created fixed deposit in multiples of a certain amount, usually rupees 1,000 that would earn more interest. The distinct advantage is that the savings bank account that continues to serve as before. Under this kind of an account, where the check amount exceeds the available balance in savings account balance, funds are transferred from the fixed deposit account so as to ensure that the customer's check is honored. Such transfers are effected automatically in multiples of usually rupees 1000 thus allowing the remaining portion of the fixed deposit to earn the contracted rate of interest. So the choice of selecting the period for which the fixed deposits should be placed to rest with the customer and he has the option to change the period for future deposits using the flexi deposit account facility. Let's have another important component of deposit now called the Senior Citizen Deposit Account. Senior Citizen Deposit Account. This is a type of account which is operated by a banker for the benefit of the senior citizens of the country. For the benefit of the senior citizens of the country and also for the benefit of their future. The objective of this type of account is to respect the age of the people of the country once they go above the age of, they live at the age of 60 and above, 65 and above, they will be given some benefit from their amount of deposits so that uh, it will be the basis for their livelihood or uh, some other features so that these people are allowed to deposit under a separate category called the senior citizen deposits and the rates of deposit interest will also be different from other rates of interest of other accounts and they get some kind of additional benefits from their deposits also. Senior citizens have the saving scheme at different institutions like uh, banking institutions, financial institutions, post offices or small savings institutions or small savings of the governments. Everywhere there will be senior citizen deposit scheme. And for the senior citizen saving scheme, every people suffered a kind of different interest according to the scheme in which they deposit. These are all collectively known as the features of the senior citizen deposit account. Let us see one by one this senior citizen deposit account and its features. First feature is the eligibility. See what is eligibility and who are eligible to have the senior citizen deposit account? All the senior people at the age of 65 and above are eligible to open the bank account or 60 years and above. The individuals who have completed the age of 60 years and above in single or joint names are eligible to open this type of account. Joint account, they can have this account in terms of joint nature. 
accounts can be opened jointly with others and other senior citizens or with other persons or below the age of 60 subject to the condition that the senior citizen is number one depositor. Proof of age is another feature which is offered. At the time of opening of new deposit account, a certified copy of any of the following documents may be produced. What are such documents? They may be producing the following documents. What are they? Secondary school leaving certificate indicating the date of birth, LIC policy if they have, voters identity card, pension payment order if retired from the government service or any other services which offers pension, birth certificate issued by the competent authority, passport or any other documents acceptable to the bank. These are all the proof of age which can be verified in the banker, verified by the banker after having submitted by the account opener or the people, those who are senior citizen come forward to open this account. And then high returns, the account offers an attractive rate of interest, 0.75% above the base rate as applicable from time to time. Once the base rate is fixed as 11, it will be of 11.75. Once the base rate is 10.50 for normal fixed deposit, the senior citizen will get 11.25. This like the range of interest will be different. Another feature of this account is eligible accounts. Domestic fixed deposits and Kamadenu deposits etc. are some of the accounts eligible for being used for opening the senior citizen account. Not all senior citizen account. Once a senior citizen is having an SB account, you can go for a deposit account by choosing the particular option. But that benefit of senior citizen deposit will not be available for the savings bank account. So that the senior citizen cannot claim against his SB account. So they have to convert their balances of SB into any kind of deposit which is offered by the particular financial institution or bank. Second thought of eligible account is eligible for being used for opening the senior citizen account in the case of Kamadenu or domestic fixed deposits. The investment limit minimum is rupees 1000 and there is no maximum limit of deposit account. In this case, or under senior citizen deposit, minimum is 1000 and there is no maximum limit of deposit investment. The period of deposit under senior citizen deposit account that varies from 15 days to 120 months. Of course, 120 months is uh, divided by 12 months, you will get 10 years. So 10 years is the maximum period for the senior citizen deposit. At the age of 62, one guy who has crossed the age of 62, at the age of 62, who wish to deposit, it may be of uh, 10 years maximum up to 72 years. With that bank, he may offer 7 years deposit or 8 years or 5 years even, and bank will accept. The offer will be accepted by banker and banker will allow the people to deposit. Of course, these are all the fundamental ideas for the senior citizen deposit account. There are different other features called EC liquidity. Anytime the account can be liquidated, funds can be moved from the deposit to other and the funds can be taken back. Loans against the deposits permitted in this account the loans are permitted with the condition of maximum of such percentages of the deposit amount and uh, with some kind of interest for the loan which is different from the deposit interest rate. And the nomination facility is also available as like other accounts. 
so that the senior citizen deposit account can be of the beneficial deposit account for the people those have crossed the age of 60 65 something like that let us have the different returns of this scheme from various institutions just for your uh, understanding sake i am saying this but not exactly there may be a change in the rate according to the condition of uh, uh, the present prevailing financial uh, schemes as well as the decisions that are taken by the financial ministry and reserve bank of india for an example you take post office savings account which offers 4% present return past return is also 4% and post office term deposit to one year 6.90 and past return 6.60 post office term deposit two years 7% present return 6.70 past return and post office term deposit three years offer present return is 7.20 but previously it was only 6.90 five years post office recurring deposit offers 7.30 now 6.90 was in the past the kisan vikas patra offers 7.70 the returns at present whereas it was 7.30 in the past post office term deposits 5 years that offers 7.80% now and 7.40% in the past you know pretty well the public provident fund scheme which is offered by both uh, post offices as well as the state bank of india that offers now 8% and 7.60% of interest in the past and ppf uh, was having 8.75 to the maximum the decades past back but now it has come down to 8.00 a national savings certificate that offers 8.00% and 7.60 was in the past sukanya samriti scheme which offers 8.50% the present return as interest to the customers or to the depositor which was in the past 8.10% only and senior citizens saving scheme compare 8.70% and 8.30% this is what i wanted to compare all schemes of returns of the earlier not comes under senior citizen deposit but for a comparative study i have taken this table and showing you that as an example the lastly given as a senior citizen savings scheme of course you know it has the higher return now 8.70 and which was in the past 8.30 that was also comparatively better than other returns schemes of other deposit schemes you just to see 8.70 is the highest rate of interest which is offered by all financial institutions under senior citizens savings scheme whereas in the past it was 8.30 that was also comparatively higher than other schemes returns so come to know the senior citizens are having benefited by the different schemes offered by different financial institutions and banks under the category of senior citizen for mobilization of their savings and also giving benefit to them favoring them in terms of different kinds of services so with this i would like to say you that we have seen almost all the deposit schemes fixed deposits savings bank deposits current account deposit foreign currency investment domestic country deposit reinvestment deposit a flexi deposit a senior citizen deposits or recurring deposits all deposits we have seen and we need to go for the opening of account in the next session i hope you would have understood the kinds of deposits and you would be applying as like wish all the best